Selected for a new natural gas pipeline in northern Greenville County, Piedmont Natural Gas says it is needed for the growing area, but those who live there say they still have some concerns. 7 News' Ayla Farone joining us live now. So, Ayla, help us understand what this all means. Well, Ben, Piedmont Natural Gas has selected what's referred to as the blue line for its new system. Now, that line runs along 290 and will use DOT right of ways for the construction. However, people living in that area are still concerned. Colleen Patterson lives in northern Greenville County on Piedmont Natural Gas's previously proposed green line. It's better than the green line for us, but it's not great. She's glad the selected route won't go through her land, but says she doesn't trust that it won't change. You know, we're actually going to do the green route again because we've run into this obstacle or this cost on the blue route. She says it's the lack of transparency from PNG that makes her uneasy. I would like to see them be um, transparent in, in everything they're doing and why. PNG says it's done just that. We feel like we've we've come to you know the decision that the community wanted. Spokesperson Jennifer Sharp says the line is needed to support recent growth in Greenville County. But it is our responsibility to provide a reliable, affordable energy choice. She says PNG wants to avoid a situation that leaves customers in the dark. If we have one of those spikes, we don't want to be in a situation like was just down there, you know, in Texas. The blue route will use the current DOT right of way easement and Sharp says land surveys and environmental studies will lead the construction. And will give us instruction for how to deal with it, you know, whether to go under it or or how to treat it. Still, some like Patterson aren't ready to give up the fight. She wants to see full transparency before any project moves forward. If there's no justification for this pipeline, then no pipeline. The construction on that pipeline will begin in late 2022 and into 2023 with completion expected in 2024. Live in Greenville County, Ayla Farone, 7 News. Thank you, Ayla.